should be the definition of speed. Speed is the distance moved per unit time, which simply means speed is equal to distance divided by time. The SI unit for speed would be meters per second. Basically, it's the distance, which is a scalar quantity, divided by time. So, speed would also be scalar. So, now let's compare it to something else that is similar to speed, but slightly different again. Once again, this is called velocity. Velocity is also the distance traveled per unit time. However, it's slightly different because it only counts the distance traveled in a specific direction, which is represented by displacement. So, it can very easily be converted to velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. The SI unit of this is the same as speed meters per second. However, instead of a scalar this time, this would be a vector because displacement is a vector with both magnitude and direction. So now a simple comparison. Speed would be the rate of change of distance traveled. However, velocity would be the rate of change of distance traveled only in a specific direction. Speed would be a scalar, velocity would be a vector. Formula using slightly different components. Speed is distance divided by time, but velocity is displacement divided by time. SI units are the same. The way that they are described are slightly different. Speed will be called like 12 meters per second, but velocity will be 12 meters per second to the north. So it has both magnitude and direction. Their symbols both use V. And now we come to another comparison. Instantaneous speed slash velocity versus average speed slash velocity. The first one, which is instantaneous speed or velocity, is the speed at a particular instant in time. So you can see this quite commonly in a car. Over here is the speedometer, which means at any point in time, you can look at the speedometer and you can tell what is the speed at that time. So this is compared to the average speed. The average speed would mean the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken. And the average velocity would be the total displacement divided by the total time taken. Let's try out some questions once again. A car drives for 0.2 hours. If it travels 8 km due east, then makes a U-turn and travels a further 5 km due west, what is the average speed and what is the average velocity? I'll pause it here. Please do the question. Okay, now here are the answers. Distance would be 8 km plus 5 km equals 13 km. So the average speed would be total distance, which is 13, divided by total time, which is 0.2 hours, which brings us to 65 km per hour. That sounds like a normal speed for a car, right? However, if we asked for its average velocity, displacement would instead be 8 km minus 5 km, giving you 3 km. So the average velocity will be equal to the total displacement divided by the total time. And that will get you 3 km divided by 0 0.2 hours, which gets you 15 km per hour. Seems much less, right? So now let's take a look at question 2. Andrew takes 6 seconds to walk 4 meters east, 2 meters south, 4 meters west, and finally 2 meters north. And he ends up at exactly the same place that he started in. So what is his speed and what is his velocity? Please try out this question now. Okay, let's go through the answers. So. His distance traveled will be 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 meters, which will end up with 12 meters. So, his speed will be distance divided by time, which will be 12 meters divided by 6 seconds. That will get you 2 meters per second. However, let's take a look at his displacement. This is interesting because his start and his end point are both the same. So, the shortest distance between them is 0. Therefore, his displacement is actually 0 meters. So, his velocity becomes displacement divided by time, 0 divided by 6. Anything that 0 divides by becomes 0. So, his velocity is actually 0 meters per second, no matter how fast he ran or no matter how long he ran.